yes dear students in this video we are going to determine the percentage of copper in the ore this is our experiment number 2 okay so same like the previous one in previous our experiment number 1 we have determined the percentage of iron in the hematite ore okay here also one copper powdered wood we have to take uh, we have taken and you have to determine the percentage of copper in that copper ore okay uh, so let us proceed further know uh, the basic knowledge which is required for this experiment like means ore mineral okay various ores of the copper okay next experiment and practice you must be able to determine uh, or perform the experiment individually and in team also means you are able to handle all that glassware concentrated chemicals reagent whatever individually also and in group also you are supposed to perform the experiment as like same i have explained individual and team work you must be able to perform the experiment individually and as well as in the team also and lifelong learning skill okay lifelong learning it is also necessary for this experiment lifelong learning it is a ability uh, which develops the research attitude in you student okay so after performing this experiment which competencies or practical skills are developed in you that is the measurement skill means weighing is there uh, various chemicals by using measuring cylinder pipette you have to measure so measurement skill is developed handling the glassware handling uh, burette uh, volumetric flask or uh, other means your pipette huh, conical flask handling glassware it is also one of the practical skill and one of the important that is the calculation these skills or competencies are developed after performing this experiment okay uh, yes this is related to the our uh, chapter number 4 that is the metals alloys cement refractory material so same the co of that chapter is related to this so select relevant metallurgical process related to industrial application next practical outcome what we are going to get after performing this experiment determine the percentage of copper in given copper ore okay ek copper ka ore aapko diya hai us copper ke ore mein kitna copper ka percentage hai ye hum aaj nikalne wale hai so affected omens outcome uh, that is you have to follow the safety practices as you are using here concentrated concentrated nitric acid sulfuric acid so you have to take care while handling the concentrated acids demonstrate working as a team leader as well as team member and practice good housekeeping okay so these are the affective domain related outcomes which is developed after performing the experiment okay uh, here i would like to tell uh, see what we are going to do we are taking the copper ore okay here it is the copper ore we are adding in that nitric acid usme hum kya add kar rahe hain nitric acid add karne ke baad aapko brown fumes dikhenge aap aage video mein dekhenge to aapko samajh mein aayega ki brown fumes nikalte hain और उसे हमें क्या करने का है वी हैव टू हीट इट टिल दैट ओर डिजोल्व कम्प्लीटली वेन यू आर गोइंग टू हीट इट बाय एडिंग दंसेंट्रेटेड नाइट्रिक एसिड दैट टाइम इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू दिस सी यू एन ओ थ्री ट्वाइस ओके इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू द्यूप्रिक नाइट्रेट ओके नेक्स्ट वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू आर गोइंग टू एड दिस सल्फरिक एसिड इन इट आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू एड दिस सल्फरिक एसिड एंड हीट इट when you are going to uh, add this sulfuric acid that time your solution turns to blue okay so it is converted into the copper sulfate okay it is converted into cuso4 after that when this copper sulfate it is treated with that four molecules of potassium iodide ki when it is treated with the ki that time your cupric iodide is formed see here already i said to you uh, how you are going to say cupric and cuprous copper is having two valencies one is cu1 plus and here is cu2 plus when when it is cu1 plus that time it is the cuprous okay this is the cuprous and this is your cupric see here in cu i2 you are knowing valency of iodine minus 1 so minus 2 here and so copper is having two so it is cupric iodide the name of this product is a cupric iodide and 
potassium sulfate is formed K2SO4 it is formed here but this product this is cupric iodide it is the unstable it is unstable it is converted into the cuprous iodide see here cu 2 i2 it is converted into cu 2 i2 means each copper means here copper is having the valency 1 okay so this is your cuprous iodide and iodine is liberated that liberated iodine we are going to uh, titrate using the sodium thiosulfate solution okay and in this uh, we are going to use the starch as an indicator in previous experiment KMnO4 self acting as an indicator so we have not used external indicator okay so this iodine is uh, evolved here which is determined okay and it is equivalent to the copper using this relation we are going to determine the how much percentage of copper is present okay so when it is titrated with the sodium thiosulfate Na2S2O6 is formed and 2 sodium iodide is formed this is the practical setup you can see in during the practical also this is the burette this is burette stand conical flask okay so let us proceed further for the procedure yes so let us proceed for the procedure part a that is the preparation of ore solution for that what we have to do we have to weigh exactly 1 gram of copper ore sample and transfer it to 250 ml beaker so now i am going to weigh the 1 gram of copper ore yes, uh, this is the electronic balance keep the weighing paper on it okay it will show the weight of paper tear it to zero like previous one here i am going to make it zero okay now the weight of paper is zero now i am going to take the um, this copper ore okay so by using this spatula i am going to weigh the exactly you can see this is the copper ore i am going to weigh the one gram of that copper ore powder of fine powder of copper ore is there you can see it here okay try to take the weight exactly See the weight of copper ore is 0 0.999 ok yes it is 1 gram ok now what you have to do you have to transfer this 1 gram of copper ore into the 250 ml beaker now in that you have to add 10 ml concentrated nitric acid. 10 ml concentrated nitric acid this is the nitric acid concentrated it is written here concentrated nitric acid by using measuring cylinder I have taken the 10 ml and now I am going to transfer it to this 250 ml beaker ok brown fumes you can see brown fumes are fall here ok now you have to heat this copper ore till it dissolve completely ok see you can see the brown fumes are evolved here ok now add 20 ml water in the same beaker you can see brown fumes are evolved here now I am going to add the 20 ml this is the water I am adding 20 ml water in the same ore and keep it for the heating till 
that ore is completely dissolved yeah uh, this is the wire gauze and burner is on now you can see here place the wire gauze and keep this beaker hmm? till that ore dissolve it completely now you can see the color changes to blue okay you have to heat till it dissolve completely now you can see the ore sample is completely dissolved now stop the heating okay now i am going to uh, off this key okay and keep it for the cooling you have to wait till it get cool okay after cooling when it will cool you have to add 10 ml h2so4 10 ml concentrated h2so4 in this beaker now we have to wait till it get cool okay and after adding this h2so4 you have to heat till white fumes are completely evolved okay and then you have to dilute it now the solution is completely cool okay now what you have to do you have to add this 10 ml concentrated sulfuric acid now i am going to add it slowly okay slowly i am adding the concentrated sulfuric acid see here white fumes are evolved you can see okay now keep it for heating for few minutes Keep the wire gauze and heat it. See, you can observe the white fumes which are evolving out. Okay, we have to heat till all that white fumes are evolved. Okay. See, till white fumes are coming out. Heat it for the few more minutes. Now the solution is completely cool. Now I am going to transfer this to the hundred mL volumetric flask. Okay, this is the hundred mL volumetric flask. Transfer this solution into this hundred hundred mL volumetric flask. yes transfer it if you are the perfect otherwise you can use the funnel for the transferring the solution okay transfer it to your 100 ml volumetric flask and dilute up to the mark using the distilled water okay you can see here here it is the one marking is there this is the marking where it will be the 100 ml so dilute this solution using the distilled water ma'am please add the distilled water up to the mark yes yes here it is Yes, slowly, slowly. Yes. Okay. Now stop for the uh, volumetric flask and shake it. Here you are. Sample solution that is ore solution is ready. Copper ore solution is ready. Here, hundred mL copper solution is prepared here, in which one gram of copper alloy is taken. Sorry, copper ore is taken. Okay. So this solution we are going to use for the part B, that is determination of percentage of copper. Okay, uh, so see you part B, that is determination of percentage of copper. Now we are going to start the part B. 
that is the determination of percentage of copper for this we need the burette glass ware needed that is the burette conical flask okay dropper beaker okay uh, here it is your sodium thiosulfate okay this is it, burette it is filled with the sodium thi one normal 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate this is the starch indicator okay this is dilute ki solution this is acetic acid okay and this is naoh dilute naoh hmm? this is our prepared core solution sample core solution okay which is prepared in the part a okay now fill the burette okay this burette on wooden stand it is clamped you have to fill this burette with sodium thiosulfate you have to fill you have to adjust up to the zero mark which solution we are taking in the burette 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate the formula of sodium thiosulfate is na2s2o3 is it possible to see you here okay we take few more and then adjust to the zero okay now it is above the zero now adjust exactly to the zero you can see here the oh, solution is coming out okay yes up to the zero mark you have to adjust it take this prepared sample or solution in the beaker and pipe it out 10 ml of this copper alloy solution which we have prepared in the part a take the 10 ml yes okay add this to that marking now transfer this 10 ml into the conical flask see here next what we have to do after after 10 ml sample solution you have to add two normal naoh drop wise with constant stirring see here this is the naoh now i am going to add the naoh two normal naoh in the same conical flask okay yes okay uh, add it with continuous shaking till you get the blue ppt should be okay hmm see blue uh, turbidity is obtained at the bottom okay now what you have to do you have to add acetic acid drop wise with constant stirring till that turbidity will dissolve okay add drop wise i am adding the acetic acid with constant stirring till that ppt is dissolve okay now few more is needed Okay. Now you can see. I'm adding few more acetic acid drop wise. Okay. Now PPT is dissolved completely. Here. Now I'm going to add the Ki. Okay. When I'm going to add the Ki, the solution will appear. yellowish brown in color as iodine is liberated you can see here okay yellowish brown color okay is it visible to you yes is it visible now i'm going to titrate the iodine which is liberated with this sodium thiosulfate till that yellowish brown color will changes to 
टिल टिल पहले लो यू कैन सी हियर एलोइश ब्राउन कलर आयोडीन इज लिबरेटेड हियर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टाइट्रेट दिस यूजिंग दिस सोडियम थायो सल्फेट टिल दैट एलोइश ब्राउन चेंजेस टू पेल येलो yes now you can uh, observe the change hmm? pale yellow color is obtained here that brown color yellowish brown is removed now now here when the pale yellow color is obtained you have to add the starch indicator in it okay blue color is obtained okay hmm? see yes you can see the iodine is liberated blue color is obtain now titrate this till that blue color disappear okay the okay. blue color will disappear and uh, solution will turn to milky white add few more drops see here till light blue is appear continue addition we are doing milky white till it solution that blue color changes to milky white okay now stop the addition and observe the color okay. in the beginning somewhat it is a blackish like you can observe the color is turn to the white okay now observe your burette reading now see the reading observe the reading properly okay uh, here it is the 12 and here it is the 11 so it is in between 12 1 11 here it is okay so the reading you are reading is 11.5 so where you are going to record this you have to record this reading in our manual observation table okay so here determination of percentage of copper our first reading is 11.5 okay this is our first reading similarly we have to take the two more readings okay yes so our burette reading our first reading it is the 11.5 second it is a 11.5 again and last it is the 11.7 so out of these three which two are constant that we are going to record it here so v that is your 11.5 ml now we are going to see the next part of the, uh, this experiment that is the calculation calculation for the determination of percentage of copper okay so step 1 this is the 1000 ml one normal sodium thiosulfate it is equal to 63.5 gram of copper from where this 63.5 gram it is coming from the periodic table so atomic weight of that copper it is the 63.5 okay now let us proceed further so v ml v ml of 0.1 normal sodium thiosulfate it is equal to 63.5 into v into 0.1 normal divided by 1000 put the value of v which is obtained in the observation table number 1 go on putting the values so here our 63.5 into 11.5 into 0.1 divided by 1000 and your answer is 0.0730 okay so this is this much of copper it is present in the 10 ml of copper ore sample you have pipetted out okay so step 2 10 ml of ore sample contain why why means this much amount of copper so this is 0.0730 gram of copper Uh, if you are knowing we have prepared how much uh, or sample we have prepared we have prepared the 100 ml of that ore sample 
in 100 ml how much ore we have taken we have taken the 1 gram of copper ore we have taken and for titration out of this 100 we have taken the 10 ml okay so now whatever the copper we have got here it is present in the 10 ml so here step to 10 ml of ore sample contains 0 0.0730 gram of copper okay now uh, for uh, 10 this much so 100 ml what you have to do you have to multiply it by the 10 and your answer is 0 0.730 gram of copper it is present in the 100 ml right and this is called the z so your z is 0 0.730 gram of copper see here so 100 ml whatever present in the 100 ml that is present in your 1 gram because 100 ml solution contains the 1 gram of copper ore so 1 gram of ore sample it contains 0 0.730 gram of copper we have to determine the percentage so 100 gram of sample you have to multiply that z into the 100 so your percentage will be 73.0% uh, of the copper okay so your result percentage of copper it is 73% okay so interpretation what is the your interpretation the given ore contains 73 percentage of the copper so above ore conclusion what conclusion you are going to draw above ore can be used for the uh, what to say for the uh, extraction of copper economically and profitably okay so thank you all this is about the experiment number 2 okay